this whole area down here, if you want to just come here, I mean, this whole area is our sales department. So this is the area where they're actually going out and hustling and selling advertising uh, for our station in order to be able to, you know, keep the station running and pay our salaries and the whole operation. Without advertising, as you know, television is is dead in the system, water. But uh, uh, the conventional broadcast system and the way it has been financed all of these years has changed dramatically. And we feel that to have a level playing field, now we require a uh, fee for carriage. Like I say, you know, you're, you're paying 50 cents a month or 75 cents a month for TSN or RDS. Uh, why can't, we're giving, we're giving away local news plus all this other programming and we're not getting a cent for it. So it, it's not right. This is where uh, all of the reporters sit. So you've got in total 12 reporters. Some of them are still out in the field. Some of them are just about to be sent out. We're having a heck of a time finding anybody to talk to us. We can use a bit of recorded telephone interview or I can paraphrase what they said and do a live. That's probably our worst case scenario. Uh, some of them are in right now working on stories. I mean, I would like to continue in journalism and I have a reporting background and this is fantastic, but it's, it's very, very difficult to say, especially right now at this point in the industry, because we are losing a lot of jobs and you know, they're not really being replaced, which does make me a little bit concerned about where journalism as an industry might be headed, just because I think it's a really important element of democracy, and I'm worried that we're losing some journalists. Yeah, we're feeling the crunch. We, we just lost our morning shows very suddenly um, a week and a half ago, and uh, that was really a shocker. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a definite consideration, especially for someone starting out like me. Uh, you tend to question, you know, is, is, this, is, this, is this job sustainable? And that has a direct effect on um, our production crew because we don't need a crew in the morning anymore. Uh, our first crew now basically is in charge of putting a new show together. So we're losing some work there, which means we're going to have bumping and we're going to have people, um, you know, we're unionized here, we're going to have people out of work. So it's not pleasant at all to, to see that happening to people that you work with. We have no plans uh, to, to do any more uh, cuts for the moment in, in, in that area. Our, our license renewal, which is uh, coming uh, forth at the, at the end of April, we have submitted for the same level of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, local news and, uh, and local reflections. Um, so this is basically the studio. So you try to make sure that uh, what you're going to read is uh, written in, in a way that's the most comfortable for you as the storyteller. So I, I do a lot of that, uh, working really closely with the people upstairs that you guys have met uh, and trying to make sure that it's the most up-to-date information uh, and that it's written in the most conversational way that I'm comfortable with reading to the viewers at home. Editing. This is where all the editing goes on. Uh, tapes are brought in, tapes are left there to be digitized. This is one of our editors. My job is to screen everything before he comes in so that I have a better idea of how to put the story together. Just going to show these guys uh, the uh, feed and play operation. So this is what we call feed and play. Sometimes we call it feed and pray, uh, depending on what we're hoping is going to work out. Anyway, these are where, what exactly is it that we do here? Roll all the visuals on the newscasts and also uh, we uh, receive all the feeds coming from different, uh, different area, different stations, different countries. Okay, Everything that comes in and comes out goes through here. This is our control room. I know you guys were, maybe you're going to be coming in here at one point or another. Okay, we're here for noon. Yeah. yeah. But uh, this is where the show is all run out of here. Uh, and you have the production assistant who sits here, you've got the director who sits here, you've got the switcher who sits over here. So it's like, you know, think of it kind of like a symphony, you know what I mean? And everyone's kind of uh, in harmony. The director would be like the orchestra conductor, and you've got all these other people playing roles in the control room during the show. So It's the live production of the show. Um, 
by the time we go live to air, everything that goes live to air goes through this room, which is control room. So any taped items, any live items, any um, on cameras which are produced from the studio have to go through this room and basically it's my job to make sure that they go out in a straightforward and clean way and as attractive as possible. CBV News with Mitsumi Takahashi and Todd Vander Hayden. Good evening. An investigation is underway tonight in Sherbrooke where a woman and a child have been found dead. Caroline Van Vlardigan joins us now. And Caroline, this is not, we understand, the first time we're hearing about alleged sexual abuse at this college. It's not, Mitsumi. In fact, the lawyer who deposited... We get more now from Paul Karwatsky. Jan Goldenberg's medicine cabinet is like many out there. have to watch tomorrow to find out why. No. Maybe they like Slurpees. There's a tease. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, nope, there's nothing to do with Slurpees. <laughs> the bears. That's our newscast. Have a great night. Good night. Bye for now. Bye. Maintaining what we do now with, of course, looking at, at on all opportunities of offering uh, more within the hours that we currently have. Uh, am I confident that we'll continue to deliver the local news? Yes. Um, will the internet become more of an issue, more of a, more of a platform for us? Yes. But the people will always want to know what's happening in their backyard. And that's, uh, that's where we come in. And we'll always be here to do that.